Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are here for BFFSC Starlight School of Magic Theories Episode 26. Anyways, guys, we know the latest episode is juicy. From the name, it doesn't really look like it's gonna be something a lot, but after watching it, you would know because I've watched it and it's awesome! And we get more of a little bit of spices. Okay, guys, before I get into the uh, mysteries we have today and the theories and everything, I just wanted to give a brief explanation of what I think, you know, like what happened, just what happened. Uh, so far, so bad. <laughs> Not so far, so good. So far, so bad. Well, we all know what happened here. Queen Bee got her got her miraculous, and like we said, it wasn't Ladybug. Ladybug didn't change her mind. Well, Queen Bee got her miraculous, blah blah blah. She got akumatized. Then she just kind of used her powers and stopped working for Shadow Moth. She started working for herself, and then yeah, she just she she made a game like <sighs> Wisp Girl actually came in. And offered a game to Queen B, who's now Miraculous B. Um, um, I don't even know. Miracle B, yeah. Miracle Queen, or is it Miracle B, or is it Miracle? I don't know, guys. The names are really confusing. Like I said, I'm not a fan. I, I'm not a fan of the real show, so these things are getting mixed up in my head. But yeah, Miracle Queen. Queen, not B. Miracle Queen. Anyway, she got a Kumitize and a Miracle Queen, and then Wisp Girl came in and made a deal with her. For her to get the miraculous and give it to Wisp Girl. And she could have everyone doing her every bidding. Yeah, she took, you know, the deal. And yeah, she was able to get everyone to do her every bidding, even Bunnix. So yeah, it was up to Luca to save the day. So he was able to get the Ember, went to Starlight, and figured out that FG was also gotten to and was also hypnotized. Anyways, Luca was able to slip by her. He was able to sneak by, sneak by her, entered her office, and figured out where she kept the the uh, Viperian uh, bangle thing. I don't know. Well, where she kept the Viperian Miraculous. I'm just gonna say like that. The Snake Miraculous. Yeah, Snake Miraculous. Because, uh, yeah, Snake. So. She, he, he figured out where she kept the snake miraculous and he took it which is now combined with the moonstone ring so he became super viparian and he had some second chances done but ended up saving the day and everything was fine and ladybug did her thing collected the akuma all that stuff but a lot still did happen that we all need to talk about so with no further ado let's get into the theories that we have today Guys, number one, who is this mole? Okay, now we have enough time to talk about it because we're gonna sit down and we're, we're, we're gonna talk about this little mole thing. Anyways, guys, when they got when they got to Queen B, they asked her who gave her the miraculous, and like she said, Ladybug. But Ladybug said she didn't give it to her. Like I said. Anyways, then Ladybug said she didn't. Then Ladybug said that she didn't give her anything. And then Cottonwire said maybe it's the mole, because someone has been giving you know villains miraculouses so they can use them for their own bidding. So what if it's the mole in Starlight, and that's how the person can always get to all the miraculouses they want because the person is pretending to be a Starlight student. And now that you think about it, it's really smart. If it was a villain, maybe if it was Maleficent, she won't be able to get to the Miraculouses. Because, you know, everyone would know. Because she's a villain. But if it was a Starlight student that took the Miraculous and left and gave it to a villain, it would be more easier. So, I think Cat Noir has a point. What if the Mole has been giving villains the Miraculouses? Has us been doing deals with villains, bringing the Miraculouses, and they do what they want with them? So, yeah. And then we come to the subject. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, let, let's go on the topic. Who is this mole? Who? Police. And now I'm gonna have to give my theory on who the mole is. If it's not Ben, then it has to be one of the uh, Fearless Five or the Core Four. If you ask me, it's one of Mal's friends. If it's not one of Mal's friends, then it's Ben. If it, then it's Ben. Uh, that's my suspicion 
or it's one of the princesses or princess just i don't know i don't know but those are my suspicions ben was acting pretty weird the last time he was in this show and yeah it's not like he didn't do anything weird but his voice sounded guilty like he sounded fake uh i don't know his voice his voice gave out a fake vibe a guilty vibe so yeah but guys comment down below who you think the mall might be so we have to get to the bottom of this we are the uh mi mystery mystery find outs i don't know what i'm gonna call it, the club but anyways on to the next theory anyways guys i don't know if this is mysterious to any of you but i think i think there's something rena rouge said that gave me a uh, it just gave me a stink in my brain and I decided to talk about it. I'm not sure it's mysterious I'm not sure it's like a mystery, but let me just talk about it. Rene Rouge asked a question She asked how is the wisp girl able to Manipulate people into playing her games if you think about it every time she shows up for someone to play a game she, The person she's talking to ends up agreeing all the time no one can ever refuse her games, even the Starlight people. Everyone in Starlight has already played games with this Wisp. Everyone. I don't know, there's no saying no to her. So, is it a magic? Like, Rene Rouge asked the question, how is she always able to make everyone play her game? Everyone agrees to all her deals and plays her games. Maybe it's a power, maybe she's doing something. Guys, just let me know what you think. Do you think it's just a coincidence, or do you think there's something she might be doing? Maybe there's a charm, there's something she's using to make people agree. Or do you think it's just a coincidence that people end up agreeing no matter what? If you ask me, it's not a coincidence. If you ask me, there's something that she's doing, there's something that she's doing that makes people always agree. Like, they can't say no. Well, just let me what you think, just tell me what you think in the comments. Let's go on to the next theory. Okay, guys, this next theory is about the Wisp Girl. As we all know, when uh, Ladybug saved the day, she did a vanishing spell to the Wisp Girl. And we all know that Wisp Girl only needed Queen Bee to steal the, well, let's say Miracle Queen, to steal the Miraculouses so she could get her friends out, so she could save them from CC King. So now that they did a vanish spell on her, where is she? This is the same way that they that uh, they were able to do a vanish spell on CC King, but he came back. So is Whisper Girl gonna come back or is she gone for good? If you ask me, she's not gone for good. Whisper Girl is coming back for me, for me, for me. <laughs> Sorry, for me, Whisper Girl is flashback coming home. She's, well, it's not her home, but she's coming for trouble. Yeah, and there's a lot of secrets that this Wisp girl is hiding. Like, who all remembers her fear of water? What phobia is that? We still, we still don't know why she's afraid of water. What does the water do to her? Does it vanish her? Does it take away her powers? She still she hasn't explained a lot of things to us. We still don't know why she's afraid of getting inside the pool, like, you know, pour, just showering herself with water. We still don't know, you know, what's up with her. She's a very secretive person. But soon enough, we'll crack all of them, we'll give our theories, and Laura and Adam will crack all these cases in the series, and all will be revealed. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next theory. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we move on, just tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think she's gone for good or do you think she's coming back? And if you can give your own theories on all the secrets that Whisper Girl is hiding, that's fine. On to the next theory, everyone. And last for today, Mao. You know, I quite noticed that Mao seems to get in tr into a lot of trouble in this series without it being her fault. Like, she just came for her leather jacket. She was like, FG, have you seen my leather jacket? And they were like, psh, oh, psh. And she's here in this cold, snowy place in a Christmas outfit. In a Christmas outfit? Does anyone find it familiar? Does anyone find that dress familiar? Well, let me reveal it. This is the Super Pops under the mistletoe outfit i want to see you under 
the mistletoe with your eyes bright and your cheeks a little rosy. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the outfit that Super Wops wore for Under the Mistletoe music video in the Christmas episode about Dr. Ruin becoming good, that type of stuff. So yeah, doesn't this give you guys any feeling, mm, let's say, there's gonna be a music video? Mm, I don't know. I don't know where this place is. I don't know where Mount is. I just don't know. But, guys, comment down below if you think there'll be a music video. Or if you think they won't. If you ask me, I think so. Because this is the same outfit Super Bumps were. And I think there should be a music video. There should just be a music video. But it could also mean danger. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that Mal is in for danger in this place? Or do you think this place is connected to some music video they're going to have? I actually don't know. I think both. There'll be danger, then the music video. Because that's how the episodes are. They have to go through danger, and then the music video is saved for last to make all fans happy. Well, anyways, guys, just let me know what you think. And this is the last theory for the day. Whoa. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's all done. We've done the theories, and we've solved mysteries. Woohoo! Well, for today. For today. There's still another day coming up, and there's still more shows to do theories for. La, 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 la. Guys, let me know what you think. Should I do theories for the new upcoming series that BFF Besties want to, you know, pop up in their channel? Or should I not? If you ask me, I want to. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the show's about first. We'll see what the show's about first. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just, let's just hop into the shout The shout outs. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, shout out to Tamsin Jowett. Shout out to FC, aka Fast Cheetah. Shout out to Crystal Shine YT. And shout out to all my fans. More personal shout outs coming. They're not all done yet. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much. Like, I mean, shout outs. To, shout outs to all of you. You guys are all unique. Mwah! I love you guys so much. You guys are the heart and soul of this YouTube channel. And I'm the production. <laughs> okay. Anyways, shout out to everyone. And I love you all so much. Equal love, yes. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this theories video. Uh, this, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Just subscribe. And don't forget to like this video if you love the theories episode. BFF Bestie Starlet School of Magic 2. Share with your friends and family so they can acknowledge the theories episodes and acknowledge the YouTube series. And don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. And any important information I would like to give out. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Heart to heart. Hashtag Vicky Nation. Bye. Love you. Looks just like a city of blinding lights